Is organic food really better than non-organic food? Nowadays, it seems like eating healthy and balanced meals just isn't enough anymore. You may feel like you're making the right choices by putting fresh fruit and veggies into your cart, but then you're wondering, wait, are they organic? Is it do am I doing something bad if they're not organic? What should I do? The organic versus non-organic food debate has a lot of people thinking that organic food is better and safer and healthier, but is that really true? What is organic food? Organic foods have different regulations depending on the country you're from. In the US, food can be called organic if it has been grown on soil without any prohibited substances applied for three years prior to harvest. These substances include some synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. And if you're interested in the sources for what I'm saying, they're all in my blog post in the description. Organic processed foods must contain organic ingredients and artificial preservatives or colors or flavors are prohibited. When it comes to meat, the animals have to be fed organic food and they can't be given antibiotics or hormones and also they must be raised in conditions that let them experience their natural behavior as much as possible. Unless the food packaging specifically states that the food is 100% organic, when it says that the food is organic or contains organic ingredients, that means that it has to be at least 70% organic. And also, organic foods are non-GMO. Is organic food more nutritious than conventionally grown food? A big reason why people choose organic food over conventionally grown food is because they believe it to be healthier and more nutritious. But is this actually the case? One study looked at over 70,000 participants and found that a higher frequency of organic food consumption was associated with a reduced risk of overall cancers. However, it's really important to note that the people who do choose organic organic foods in general live healthier lives and they do lots of different things that can be the reason why they are having less cancers and better health in general and it's really difficult to isolate all of these things from eating organic foods. So maybe the reduced cancer risk is just because they tend to live overall healthier lifestyles. And another study looked at over 600,000 women and found that consuming organic products was not associated with a decrease in cancer risk. Nutrition-wise, we can't say that organic food is better than conventionally grown food. A review of studies showed that organic produce does not seem to have significantly more vitamins and minerals, but they do appear to have more antioxidants. There wasn't any strong evidence suggesting that organic food was more nutritious or healthier than conventionally grown food. Another study also concluded that there were no nutritional benefits from consuming organic foods and there were no quality human studies that demonstrated direct health benefits or disease protection from eating organic foods. But there are also no disease promoting effects associated with an organic diet either. Finally, organic foods seem to foster a halo effect, which means that people think that they're actually healthier than they really are with no real evidence backing that claim. Studies showed that people were more likely to pay more for organic foods and perceive them to be healthier and have less calories even though this wasn't the case at all. This also shows the impact of marketing on the perceived benefits of organic foods. Is organic food safer than conventionally grown food? Another reason why people opt for organic foods rather than conventional foods is because they believe them to be safer for consumption because they don't contain pesticides or GMOs or any artificial things. However, this doesn't mean that organic food is completely free from pesticides because pesticide residues can be found in organically grown foods. This can happen through water and soil contamination from other farms that aren't organic or after harvest when being being in contact with non-organic produce. There's simply a maximum allowable pesticide residue limit for each different kind of pesticide in an organic produce, but that um, quantity of pesticides is still much lower than non-organic foods and has not been shown to pose any type of health risk. A study showed that the occurrence of pesticide residue was four times higher in conventionally grown foods than in organic foods, and also it contained much higher levels of cadmium, which is a heavy metal, but none of this was shown to pose a health risk. It's also interesting to note that people tend to 
really overestimate the negative effects of pesticides. Like lots of people will go out of their ways to avoid pesticides all while engaging in riskier, like even riskier behaviors like smoking or not wearing a seatbelt, for instance. I also wanted to take a moment to read part of an email discussion I had with a reader from my blog where I posted about um, this subject, organic foods. Um, her name is Michelle and she has a background and a degree in agricultural science and she's also a chemist and worked on pesticides and their residues and their impact on health and things like that. So I thought it would be interesting to share some of the things that she told me. So she said, something that could be misleading is that organic foods are grown without the use of pesticides. This is not true. Organic farmers do use pesticides, but they must be organic pesticides that are made from naturally occurring ingredients. There are also some synthetic chemicals that are allowed in organic farming as well. Regarding the organic pesticides, many of them are not as effective in preventing crop damage and loss as their synthetic counterparts, so organic farmers end up needing to apply higher quantities of these naturally occurring chemicals, pesticides, and or apply them more frequently. I also think it's important that people understand that just because something is naturally occurring doesn't mean it isn't any less harmful to humans or the environment. And I absolutely agree with that. So many people think that just because something is natural, it's automatically better or good for you, but that is not the case at all. I talk about that in many of my videos. Just because something is synthetic also doesn't mean that it's inherently bad or worse for your health. She also says, my point is that organically grown crops do use pesticides and that these organic pesticides are not necessarily better or less toxic than synthetic ones. So thank you very much, Michelle, for taking the time to email me to share that information. As for the GMO issue, the use of genetical engineering or genetically modified products is prohibited in organic foods. GMO seeds can't be planted, animals that are organic can't eat GMO foods, and organic processed products can't contain GMO ingredients. However, there may be a trace amount of GMOs in the organic food that you buy because of just cross-contamination. It's important to know that there is no direct human data that shows that GMOs may pose a risk for health. No health indicators were identified regarding genetically modified crops except for possible beneficial impacts of reduced mycotoxins and nutritional enhancement. There is mounting scientific evidence that GMO foods are actually pretty substantially equivalent to traditionally bred food sources. That being said, I do think that GMOs should be properly labeled, that we need to continue to do research on the topic, and that consumers should be able to decide whether they want to consume them or not. So in short, conventionally grown food does contain more pesticides and more GMOs than organic foods, but that doesn't make them any less safe to eat. Why you don't need to buy organic food. In terms of health or nutrition, organic foods don't really have any downsides. However, the same can't be said about their price. As I mentioned previously, people are willing to pay more for a product when it is organic because organic products are seen as healthier and safer when this is, isn't really the case. I really want to insist on the fact that you get so many health benefits from eating conventionally grown fruit and veggies and all of these benefits outweigh any kind of risk that they may have by far. The problem also resides in the fact that the fear-based messaging around non-organically grown foods can actually have a detrimental impact on the amount of fruit and vegetables that people are consuming and specifically lower income households. People who don't necessarily have the means to buy organic foods may also feel that they are making poor choices by choosing conventionally grown foods or that they are negatively impacting their children's health, that they're not doing the best they're they can or any of these things and this is not true. The way I see it, it's much better to eat plenty of fruit and vegetables and whole grains even if they are organic rather than limiting yourself because you're not able to afford as many expensive organic produce. And don't hesitate to check out my video on healthy eating for beginners for some tips on how to get started with that. You can check it out right here or in the description. For certain foods, there's actually no need to even bother buying the organic version because the pesticides residues are super low and this is known as the clean 15 list. It contains avocados, corn, pineapple, onions, papaya, sweet peas, eggplant, asparagus, 
broccoli, cabbage, kiwi, cauliflower, mushrooms, honeydew melon, and cantaloupe. And if you prefer to buy organic, there's a list called the Dirty Dozen list that you can buy from. Those are the foods that you should be buying organic that are actually worth it in terms of pesticide residues, and that will be the most profitable choice. But whether you buy conventional or organic foods, make sure that you wash them through running water thoroughly and you will be just fine. Organic foods are grown without the use of pesticides or GMOs, but they're also much more expensive than conventionally grown products. Organic foods aren't more nutritious or safer than conventionally grown foods so it's really up to you to decide which kinds of foods you want to be buying and it's really important to remember that whether you prefer organic foods or conventionally grown foods you can never go wrong by adding more fruit and vegetables to your plate that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one bye